morning. It's the 12th of September 2024. I'll never wiggle my fair butt in public again. Not this weather. It's a bit cool this morning. Got Dodgy Dave here. Look at this fella smart jacket. Just show me jacket, Dave. Just come into shot a bit. Woo! Look at that. Beautiful. I see. Today, David, we're going to talk about Helen Watley. She's the uh, conservative, conservative MP for Faversham and Mid Kent. Before that, though, good news. Despite the black hole, Dave, listen to this. David Lammy announced yesterday that we're giving another £600 million to Ukraine. Oh, nice. Another £600 million quid to them. What we're doing is selling country to fund wars, I think. We're also giving another £500 million, 500 million to uh, Tartar Steel. Uh, even though they're losing 2,500 jobs in Port Talbot, they're getting 500 million off a billion. I'm not sure what we're going to get for that. Uh, I don't know. But if it's helping people stopping work, well, so be it. But Helen Watley, ah, fuck, you know. This lass is thickness personified, Dave. And uh, un unbelievably, she's in her fourth term as an MP. I mean, I can't see what they're seeing her, but you know what? Yesterday, she was on Politics Live yesterday. On politics live, and she's making a fucking fool of herself as usual. Watch this clip. When I say Keir Starmer and Rachel Reed should take responsibility for the decisions that they're making to take the winter fuel allowance away from millions of pensioners, 18,000 in my constituency. And I've had pensioners write to me about what this is going to mean for them. For instance, a pensioner who already chooses to only heat one room in their house and sleeps on the sofa during the winter in order to be warm enough. And that's with the support that we did put in place for pensioners, for instance, during the cost of living uh, crisis, the extra uh, payments we made to pensioners and the protections we put in place for the pensioners. What about that then? <laughs> oh God, she's as dense as I'm, I mean, Tell me again, Helen, tell me again about that constituent of yours who, uh, who in winter has to sleep in one half, they have to sleep in one room uh, to try and keep warm. Tell me again about that and then let me just tell you something. Your government, your mob have been in government for the last 14 years. Labour have only been in for two months. So if your constituent sleeping in a room, you need to re-examine your energy policies. Your energy policy, your considered energy policy, give us the dearest energy in Europe, and that's why people are sleeping, your constituents are sleeping in one room. And uh, another thing, you know, do you know what this last does, Dave? She claims, although she only lives 30 miles from London, she rents a place in London to go with job, and it costs us 3,250 a month, that. that's 40 grand here, just in rent, eh? And uh, here's another one for you, Ellen. It was a great story, but what, what, what about during COVID when you, as the social secretary, sent untested pensioners to go and uh, stop in nursing homes and they never came out? Uh, you didn't care about pensioners then, did you? And uh, there's only 18,000 pensioners, your words, not mine, in your constituency. So only 35.9% uh, of these will miss out, so around 6,300. Thought I'd clear that up for you while we're quoting figures and facts. Let them move into a flat. Exactly, well said, Dave. And what Ellen unknowingly did, she fucking kicked the ball into her own net. That's how stupid she is. That's a public school education for you. That's money wasting. And uh, the one thing about Helen, what I like about it, is she's an inspiration to all fucking thick people out there to never give up hope of it in the big time. Because she fucking done it. Fuck knows how. Wakey, wakey! Already, Dave. Wait, Let's go! Wait, 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 wait.